Paul, you are the most genuine, selfless man I know. I feel pure thankfulness to be able to experience this kind of love. A love where I feel completely secure and accepted for who I am, walls and all. A love in which both people are fully invested in putting their complete effort into making this partnership an everlasting one. I want to continue to grow with you and encourage one another to be our best selves, as well as support each other to reach our full There's no magic point in a marriage where you don't have to work at it anymore. It will forever be a changing, mutating, beautiful thing as we grow older, and I know that we will both continue to put in the work together. Chloe, I love you so much that the phrase, I love you, feels like a bit of an understatement. And yet, I'll say it again, I love you, today is the best day of my life, and I'm so happy that I get to be your husband. When I first met you, I could tell you had a kindness that felt so rare. A sincere kindness that's easily displayed in how you interact with others. Truly listening to what others have to say and caring deeply about those around you. When I think about all of your extraordinary qualities, I am reminded just how lucky I am to have a partner like you. I never want to take you for granted because I know I hit the jackpot and have somehow tricked you into falling for me. This is a good day as any to start the rebuilding of life The road This morning has so clear a light as any To see the horizon in the far Excuses were two for a penny But they've all gone out the window of this car And when I feel the wind on my Bye.
Everyone, welcome to Chloe and Paul's wedding. I'm their uncle David, and I have the incredible honor of witnessing them both make one of life's wonderful decisions right in front of me because I will be officiating the ceremony. Paul and Chloe are honored by your presence here. They are thankful for your love and support. They also hold a place in their hearts for the loved ones who are with us in spirit. They are missed and not forgotten. Friends, we're all here to witness the same thing, the part of the journey where two hearts collide and cannot be without one another. And so they choose to commit to each other in front of an audience of people in their circle of trust. We're all part of something very special today. Families will join, strangers will become friends. We can testify that we all have this one thing in common. We all have a shared fondness for these two people and who they are as individuals and who they are as a couple. We, we love, love them, them as, as a couple. couple. <laughs> <laughs> Paul and Chloe, your roads have come together. You've lived separate journeys up until the meeting on that faithful day, and you realize that walking with someone who is your equal is the same as walking with someone who is your soulmate. So today, July 15th, 2023, we will celebrate one of life's moments where Paul and Chloe join hands in marriage. We're here to laugh with them. Some of you are here to cry. Some may have already started crying. <laughs> but most of all, we're here to wish them well as they begin their journey together. It will be wonderful watching them in the years to come as they both reach for the stars as a couple, weather the same storms, and grow in the same direction through love and compromise. The bride and groom have prepared their own vows. Chloe? Please speak first. Paul, you are the most genuine, selfless man I know. I feel pure thankfulness to be able to experience this kind of love. A love where I feel completely secure and accepted for who I am, flaws and all. A love in which both people are fully invested in putting their complete effort into making this partnership an everlasting one. I want to continue to grow with you and encourage one another to be our best selves as well as support each other to reach our full potential. I promise to consciously push through the moments when love may not feel very easy, as love is a verb which requires two people to strengthen their relationship with intention. I promise to practice open communication where we can respectfully and sensitively express our wants and needs. From the beginning, you have emphasized being communicative almost so much to the point where I would be like, okay, we've talked our feelings to death, can we just move on now? <laughs> but truly, I'm thankful for a partner who has pushed me to express my feelings instead of letting them fester. When I first met you, I could tell you had a kindness that felt so rare. A sincere kindness that's easily displayed in how you interact with others, truly listening to what others have to say and caring deeply about those around you. When I think about all of your extraordinary qualities, I'm reminded just how lucky I am to have a partner like you. I never wanna take you for granted because I know I hit the jackpot and have somehow tricked you into falling for me. <laughs> well, now that I spill my guts out, I guess all my cards are on the table. I'm basically obsessed with you, and all you can do at this point is accept it. <laughs> Paul, I love you so very much, and I vow to be devoted to you and our marriage for life. Chloe, you are my partner, my soon-to-be wife, and my best friend. You're the person I look forward to rambling about my day with after work, and the person I look forward to recharging my battery with at night. 
You're the only other person I've ever met who's also supremely grossed out by butterflies. <laughs> and the only person I've ever dressed head to toe in denim with. <laughs> Whether you're listening to me explain something idiotic like why Weird Al is a genius, or somehow letting me set up a woodworking shop in the attic of our small third floor apartment, you always appreciate my obsessions and encourage my passions. No one has ever accepted me for who I am, flaws and all, as much as you do. No one has ever pointed out the positive qualities in myself that even I couldn't see like you have. You've helped me grow, you've given me the space to do so, and you've helped me become the man that I am today. I almost lost everything two years ago in my car accident, and while it was happening, all I could think was, if I make it out of this with my life back, I've got to make sure that Chloe understands how much she means to me, and I've been trying to do that every day since then. It's with this second chance at life that I make the following vows to you for our marriage. I promise to always be your teammate when you're up against the world and stand by you even during rough times. I promise to go along with and support all of your ideas, even the crazy ones like making your own homemade candles and growing your own flowers for our wedding. <laughs> You are inventive and ambitious and creative, and I promise to always stoke that flame. I promise to make you laugh and to always be a good sport, not rubbing it in when I win a game of Catan, <laughs> and not complaining too much when you consistently kick my ass in Mario Kart. <laughs> That's true. I promise to never stop noticing all the little things you do, like always buying me kombucha from the grocery store, or leaving little I love you sticky notes by the coffee pot in the morning. I promise to spend my life earning the love and beauty that you bring to our shared world. Lastly, I promise to balance the responsibilities of our life together and make sure that we are always equals in this partnership. I know that today is not an arrival. Today is just a stop along our journey. There is no magic point in a marriage where you don't have to work at it anymore. It will forever be a changing, mutating, beautiful thing as we grow older, and I know that we will both continue to put in the work together. Chloe, I love you so much that the phrase, I love you, feels like a bit of an understatement. And yet, I'll say it again, I love you. Today is the best day of my life, and I'm so happy that I get to be your husband. That was beautiful. Truly amazing. Friends, we're here today to support Chloe and Paul. Our love and our support mean the world to them. The special relationships that have been built over the years have been deep and meaningful for them and for you. So just as they have spoken their vows of love and commitment to one another today, they would like to ask if all of you would agree to a community vow. Please answer this question with a big, we will. Will you? Friends and family of Paul and Chloe support them in their vows by dropping by the house to celebrate the good times and console them through the tough times. Love them as a couple and as individuals and support them in their amazing adventure of love and marriage. And if so, please give them a nice loud, we will. We will. <laughs> Chloe, will you take Paul to be your lawfully wedded husband to have and to hold from this day forward for better or for worse richer or for poorer in sickness and in health to love and to cherish until death do you part I do and Paul will you take Chloe to be your lawfully wedded wife to have and to hold from this day forward for better or for worse richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and cherish until death do you part? I do. Paul and Chloe will now exchange rings as a symbol of their promises they have made and their ongoing commitment to one another. Paul. Place this ring on Chloe's finger and please repeat after me. I choose you to share in my life's journey. 
I choose you to follow in my life's journey. I give you this ring as a pledge to love you. I give you this ring as a pledge to love you. Today, tomorrow, always and forever. Today, tomorrow, always and forever. Todd. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe, place this ring on Paul's finger and repeat after me. It is hot. <laughs> I choose you to share in my life's journeys. I choose you to share in my life's journey. I give you this ring as a pledge to love you. I give you this ring as a pledge to love you. Today, tomorrow, always and forever. Today, tomorrow, always and forever. Paul and Chloe, I speak for everyone here to wish you both mountains of love and happiness in the future. And remember this as you head out into the world as newlyweds. Keep your home full of laughter and your hearts full of honesty. And if you can do this, you'll have an amazing life together. Paul and Chloe, having proclaimed love and commitment to one another in the sight of these witnesses, by the power vested in me by the state of Pennsylvania, I am happy to pronounce you husband and wife Paul, you may kiss your bride. service, the open bar will open, which is immediately right next to the restrooms. <laughs> Keep yourself hydrated, it's hot out. <laughs> also, the uh, music and dancing will start at 8 o'clock. The dancing rules are, all guests that were invited have to dance. <laughs> the raft, I'll be dancing. <laughs> These low-hanging rafters, you are not allowed to swing off them. <laughs> Second story, no jumping. <laughs> 10 p.m., this facility closes, art stop. They do allow overnight parking here. They do not allow drinking and driving. Anyone who needs Uber help, 
See Chloe's brother Max. Well, Uber. <laughs> I don't really. An event like this doesn't just happen by itself. There's hundreds of decisions and planning involved. Everything from deciding what venue to what photos to affix to the coral bean bags. <laughs> but Chloe only had one important decision tonight, which was the, the content of the character of the man she said, I do to. And for that choice, she couldn't have chosen better. Would Paul's parents, Dee and Bill, please stand up to be acknowledged for a job well done? <laughs> Might seem uh, slightly disoriented as the night goes on. It's not the black Irish gap or the, or the heat stroke. It's just I'm um, slightly confused how it was that yesterday Chloe was a troublesome toddler scribbling on the walls with black strands. And suddenly this evening she's a stunning bride who's poured the wax candles on the table before you. Yeah. Although I don't know how this happened, I knew who's the cause of the transformation. Her mother Kim. If you all bow your heads, I'll leave a, a quick blessing. Dear Lord, thank you for this occasion to celebrate this new chapter in our lives. In Paul and Chloe's marriage, be full of happiness and service in your image. And it's not too much to ask if you could hold off on the ratings tonight in exchange for showering us with grandchildren in nine months. <laughs> Hello, everyone. For those who don't know me, I'm Ben, Paul's best man. First off, I just want to thank the bride and groom for inviting me to be a part of your very special day. Paul and I started out as buddies in high school, hanging out a handful of times here and there. The college was when we truly got to know one another, quickly becoming the best of friends. In fact, we became such good friends that Paul decided to move in for the next four years. I was lucky to have that time with him, because Paul was truly a one in a million catch. His kind of thought that always stood out to him, making it easy to be drawn to his warmth and creative spirit. We really opened up to each other during that time living together, spending late nights trading songs and talking about life, fantasizing about our futures and what they may hold. And it was shortly after that Paul would meet his future bride. My first memory of meeting Chloe was third wheeling on a date with her and Paul. We went out for barbecue, and almost immediately I realized she had good taste. And it wasn't just the fact that she was willing to throw down some brisket with us. But that's when I knew she was a keeper. It was when I was walking behind her in ball, watching them fold hands as they made their way down Mitchell Street. It was like there was a glow about them. And even after all those fun times over the previous years, I couldn't remember ever seeing Paul quite that happy. I could tell that he was about to embark on a beautiful journey with was a very special, just like him. And it wasn't just the fact that they both had great taste in food. It was also their similar senses of humor, their warm hearts, and their gentle souls. Except when it came to board games. <laughs> Paul's one healthy gamer, with a sharp wit and skills to take down even the most seasoned competitor, especially when it comes to Mario Kart or Pecan. For a long time, I thought he sat on that hill alone, until he met his matching Chloe. When we play games together, there's a fire that comes out of both of them. And I'll admit, I've been burned a few times. <laughs> but it's all in good fun, and the passionate gameplay only brought them closer together. You guys are absolutely the perfect pair, and it seriously warms my heart to see a couple so amazing and loved. 
I'm so grateful to be friends with both of you and enjoy you all in this celebration. I like to think that I saw Walter as coming of age into adulthood. And when he moved out of my house and moved in with Chloe, I just had a funny feeling that was it. That was the next step in his journey to the rest of his life with the woman of his dreams. By the way, Paul, you used to look for that best on screen. <laughs> just kidding, Paul was always very punctual in his own thing, yes. But it was instantly clear visiting Paul and Chloe in their apartment, seeing how seamlessly their lives blended, that marriage was inevitable. Chloe, I tried to break it in for you. The rest is up to you. <laughs> I have no doubt that both your kindness, thoughtfulness, and love will shine through. And I wish you all the best in your ha happily ever after. May your love be tender, your laughter be infectious, and may your marriage be filled with endless joy. Paul and Chloe. Paul The bride brother Matt sells it for a silly. Yeah. 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 Those who don't know me, Max, and Bobby's brother, and for those who do know me, what's up? They are fun. <laughs> anyway, I just need to say a few words about my lovely sister Chloe. I've known Chloe since I was about two. <laughs> First of all, I did not care for her. She was just a little too small. And had this crazy look in her eyes that made me feel like she definitely, absolutely was stealing a small weapon under all those baby blankets. Not a lot of people know this, but the day when my parents brought them home, I looked into those crazy eyes, and I was truly worried that she wouldn't be an only child. And I'd do absolutely anything to make that happen. So I begged my parents to take her back to where she came from. In my exact words were, baby, go home now. So we threw her in the back of the cat and made goodbye. He tapped her to pull away, and I smiled to see me old toys I would never have to share. Then he stops and turned around. He said she was too cute, and we would regret it for the rest of our lives of being cute. -er. I don't know about all that, but we did end up keeping her. It's a good thing we did, because she was my partner in crime for so many years. After that terrible first impression she made, we would spend most of our time together. People would ask her young when we were twins. And I think they would ask not only because we look alike when we were young, but because We've always just had an understanding of each other that I could come across like a relationship that one's going to have. I feel so very lucky to have her in my life. She's someone I can be very open with and has such an inviting energy that makes people feel ease when they're around her. She has great music taste, is super creative, and is low-key one of the goofiest people I know. Which, you know me, is saying a lot. Um, not to mention, I'm constantly in awe of how much love she has for the students she's worked with over the years. She makes me so proud every single day. I know we'll always be there for you, Chloe. Except for that time when I was not there for you when we started getting ball. <laughs> I mean, physically, I was not there because even after about a year or so of them dating, I still didn't want to even. <laughs> Chloe kept telling me that I would like him, but in my mind, it was only a year and I don't like to wait a few more before I just got serious. <laughs> so finally, after a very long time of avoiding, I met Paul at my Halloween party. They came dressed as Benjamin Franklin and electricity. Chloe had a key and a kite that from the story, and Paul disguised himself as a guy on a $100 bill to make me think that he was worthy of dating Chloe. But then we shook hands and sparks flew. He was like he was the key, and I was the lightning, and Chloe was the kite that was the come from. Anyway, throughout the years, I've seen how happy you guys make each other. You're both such delightful and genuine people, and it's obvious you bring out those qualities in each other. I've seen Chloe grow as an individual since dating Paul, and I'm sure Paul is substantially weirder in the most fun and endearing kind of way for being with Chloe for so long. <laughs> it's comforting to know as an older brother that your sister truly chose her best friend to spend the rest of her life with, and I cannot be happier than so people. So here's to you both, and thank you for letting us share this special day with you.